Alright, so here's where we are right now. He's mulliganing for the second time. I'm keeping this six. Haven't looked it yet, of course. Uh, because there's something solid. And I think I kind of have to go from there. There's you, buddy. Now, we know what the other's on, so... This is actually going to be a little bit tricky, getting this out. Um, I may have to hold up until I can... You know... You with you. Let me just tell him my strategy. My strategy. Let it twist. You're probably gonna get it at this one. Oh, you're on the play though, so... Who knows? Uh, so you'll get described... Oh! Oh, you have six cards. Oh well. Yeah, I... I it do. happens, dude. Yeah. yeah, it happens. There. We'll I, was, I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna, because house rules is first mulligan, you could go back up to seven, but if you only took six, then I'm gonna go ahead and take six. So I'll scry the one I saw on the bottom, and I don't know what's on top. Um, I'm deciding my, my scry, actually. I'll be just a second. They're right here! I think I should. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and wooded okay. and pass. Gotcha, gotcha. The highest toughness in magic? The highest toughness creature. My first thought is Immergul. Of course. Hmm. Mary Laga. Well, yeah. That, yeah, if you're counts. playing Dark Depths. Pass turn. Alright, at the end of your turn, I'm going to snap this. Alright. She has a token, but yeah, she counts. She counts. Him and any other. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a creature. Yeah. She can. So her deal is that she could planeswalk without being a planeswalker, right? Um, if I remember correctly. What? Oh, from the lore? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it kind of. It's not quite a planeswalker, and they won't make her one because. Yeah. She isn't, but if I remember correctly, she's probably outside the Eldrazi, one of the most terrible things, uh, powerful entities in the lore. I don't know too much about the lore because I haven't read really a whole lot of books. So if being a planeswalker and having your planeswalker spark is what allows you to travel between planes without worrying about getting blown up by the blind eternities, yeah. blown up or torn or whatever the case is, you're good. Then, so yeah, I guess, yeah, you're good. Then she figured out another way. If, if I'm correct. I, I'm almost positive I am that she can. How weird is that? You have something to make a second. Sacrifice a bat. Alright. See what you got. Uh, well. Yeah. That's bad. I'll fetch. You'll have me at 19. I'll get out of breeding pool tapped. They're a club. Trying to get myself out of the legacy mindset where you do that on your upkeep. Yeah. But uh, two damage. There we go. Blighted agent? I'll pass the turn. Uh, it dies? In response, jet. Uh, in response to blighted agent being cast? Yeah. Okay. Magma jet. Jetting me? No, I'm jetting agent. Oh, so like after, like when I'm passing by right away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any results? Subscribe to, I can't remember, subscribe both at the same time. Yes, yeah, same time. That's right. Yeah, if it's separate, then it'll say scry one and scry one. Yeah, okay. 
You got it. You know the drill. Again. I haven't played what defense, so I know what you're doing. <laughs> I used to love that deck. Wild Defiance? Pass turn? What does that one do again? Whenever an instant or sorcery targets my or one of my creatures, that creature gets plus, plus three, three, plus three, three until the end of the turn. Yeah. You know okay. Alright, that's good. Um... And if you try and take it, I'll sack it. Killing me here. Let's go ahead and vex him down. I'm thinking. It stays. Okay. Um, well. I am going to sacrifice one of the odds of Vampire Bright. Killing me. I don't have the best hand for this matchup. I was like, I'm willing to use a life and a creature for that. I'm willing to gain life. So I get an experience counter on that. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, I guess let's go ahead and I really don't I know what you're probably sitting on, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hell spark. And spark is good. Swing three. Sixteen. Let's turn? Yep. I'm probably facing this next turn. <laughs> Not a whole lot of flying in here. Almost. Mm, almost. Hey, uh, one, uh, 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 didn't cast uh, any more. I literally didn't cast a single spell. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't cast a spell. I didn't cast any spells. Yeah. Blighted agent. Right. We've all gone. No more. I'm going to stick. 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 I'm going to <laughs> you have two okay. extra monsters. You could have been to one one. Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's the extra is the end step. Let's. Uh, Werewolves aren't consistent at all. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Spark elemental. Okay. And. Flashback. Unearth. Unearth. Oh, Unearth. Spark flashback. elemental. Flashback um, for creatures. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and six. Just six? Mm -hmm. well, he can't be blocked anyway. Right? Oh, that's right. He can't. Okay. All right, yeah, let's do ten. All right. Have me at six. Uh, and Hellspark, yeah, he's super gone. Exile. Pass turn? Yeah. Five. <laughs> That's right, every agent can't be blocked. Yeah. That's right, so good. That's a large part of it, yeah. Another breeding pool. Distortion strike. Trigger? Mm -hmm. So it's a 5 4. And he's going to get that again next turn. <laughs> Unkicked finds the best win. Now that it has hexproof, or hexproof, unkicked finds the best win. 
That's okay. Right. What's the white curse? You can okay, so you're so you're just targeting him with vines to give him a plus three without having to pay the kick costs. That's correct. Yeah. I could have okay. kicked the other one, and it would be a total of plus seven. But I wanted to do style points, I guess. Yeah. And then, Game death. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if he's got anything that will work for me. Oh boy. I know I have a little bit more for you. If, if but a bit. Alright, let's see what we got. And just a second. Okay. Let's get it. That's what she. Ah! Oh. Alright, anyway, I'll see you there. Alright, let's see what we got. Let's see, you're on the play, of course, I assume? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be. I really want mm, I kinda have to now. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm not digging it, but I'll go ahead and do it. It's not great, but I don't want to win. Yeah, and I Ah, it would've worked. Yeah, the odds were not in favor of that working though. It was a one lander, and the one land was colorless. Yeah. So, didn't want not want to keep. Oh, I hear that. Uh, I've got. I'm. I'll go ahead and I'll cheat a little. I'm sitting on one land right now. Oh boy. But it's red. <laughs> do it. I'm, I'm hoping that I'll draw into another one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got a little bit of an edge on me. One thing about the Vancouver Mulligan is that it makes keeping a sketchy six a little bit easier. Dropping a sketchy seven, but keeping a sketchy six. Yeah. Well, yeah, I can just draw them in response. Ow! I Keep? Not a bad card. It's, it's basically a sorcery speed tarot, but. Shove. Alright. You do your thing. How many creatures you got on there? Mm, nope. I'll go to 16. We're all gonna die eventually. No. I got understood that. No more pain. I got only understood that because of the commercial. <laughs> Just so I can't take it. I'm gonna pay one for seven to bloodline to exile that. Oh, I'm thinking. Not easy. You recording? Oh, yeah, it's recording. Okay. Okay. Misty Rainforest. Mm -hmm. End step. Uh, I return to listen. <sighs> I don't pretend to understand anymore. <laughs> yeah. Alright. This commander, I love it. At the end step, no one expects effects because so many spells are the green stuff. I think I have to pass the turn. Shocking thing about it, though, it says you get the camera, not the creature. Shockingly, you're playing. Bang. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The experience they go on the player and have a play. Fetch. I love it. Because it makes it Breeding pool? basically protected from effects like hex made and stuff like that. Exactly. No, it's not for players. Oh, yeah. It's like an emblem. It sits there. There's no you way can you proliferate it, though. Oh, yeah. You can proliferate poison counters. I really players. wish I got a land on that turn. There you go. You don't? Not yet. Maybe the next commander is simply really important. From what I've seen, they don't reference previous commander release. I want to do it. I want to do it. I have all the for a time. You come on. Pass turn. End of turn, gut shot. Oh, gut shot would be so good against me. Yeah, right? See, if only you had some. If only you had some gut shots. That'd be I, I fantastic. Don't blame them for not. I would have this one case. I would, yeah. yeah, I would have totally had those in board. But. Oh my god. <laughs>
<laughs> what is this? The mono mixing double deck. I don't I don't understand what goes on. It's like every now and then this particular deck does that. Bang? Both of them off the top, too. I mean, seriously, those are my last two draws. Oh, go to seven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's turn? Yeah, that's, that's turn. Really wish I had more chance. I love the vexing devils. I could totally use another round. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mind blockers aren't players, right? No. They are not players. If you have something that would target a player, they're technically They're jerks. That's what they now. They're they're backseat drivers. <laughs> yeah. Mind blockers are all creatures in the magic universe. Just playing blocker, but I'm saying that. Uh, everyone loses two life. I gain the life lost. Okay. No, you gain one life. Oh, okay, so I gain two life. Yeah. It's not that good. It's good, but it's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> lose two life, or we all lose two life. It's a dude? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a bigger dude? <laughs> I did it for you, Cody. Alright, so I'll roll it's an even bigger dude. Uh huh. <laughs> you, so, yeah, you, you laid uh, you laid a land this turn too. Didn't you? Oh, uh, that's groundswell. This is my. Uh, this only cares about me doing it in the main phase. Uh, okay. Yeah, if you yeah, if you play it during your main. So one, uh, two, three, four, five, six. Combat. Mm -hmm. Seven. Yeah. Like. All right. Yup. That's yeah. the thing. End of turn, it stops being a creature, and then I'll die to seven damage. Pass turn. Maybe. I... <laughs> no, I mean, I'm Weirdly enough, the next Vexing Devil actually would be okay. I need, I need a mount. Um... I really... It's it's just it's about over. Um, yeah. Well, it is if you can't. Spark Elemental. Swing. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right. Nice turn. Yep. That's it. Upkeep. Uh, rebound trigger on, or yeah, rebound trigger on the stack. Turn mm -hmm. into a creature. I'll let the rebound trigger resolve on Inglot and have lethal on board. That's, I mean, that's already it. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's uh. Well, before before we get to that point though, first. Just for style, I'm gonna get a Glistener Elf out because T1 Glistener Elf. You want to. And then, yeah, swing for Exaxes. Yeah, if only, if only I'd had another mountain. Yeah. I had one more round. Well, that turn I had yeah. protection out, but yeah, you're right. Yeah. Generally, that's where you want to be. Ugh. Ah! <laughs> nice. The joys of Mono Red, man. Yeah, there it is. Uh, so, what it, did you side? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't side anything. You didn't? Yeah, there's nothing to side. I really wish I'd had a gut shot. I would have totally sided that. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah if, if the meta turns that way, yeah. I can see it. I always pre plan with this, because this isn't my deck. I pre plan for Infect every mm -hmm. time, all the time. I played it a lot, and a lot of people I noticed made the horrible mistake of not being ready for it because yeah. they're like, who does that? And yeah. Well, Modern has a turn four rule, right? A turn four speed limit. Yeah. And Infect can consistently beat the turn four rule, but the reason it's not banned is because it's so fragile. Right. But... It's, it's kind of there. <laughs> any deck that has the ability to do that, it's kind of a glass limit. That's right. And in this case, it's, it has a lot of redundant pieces, but it dies to so much removal, and that's that's the weakness of Infect. That's one of the reasons I picked Sly Red. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was hoping it'd just be like, Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt. The, uh, what's the, the kid that was like, Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt! Yeah, right. If, death, if death. only. Yeah. Yep, wouldn't get them. Oh, boy. Well, hey, best to you, dude. Appreciate yeah. it. GG. GG. Oh, and uh, these are what I cited in. I already have two in the main. Oh, yeah. And then dispel because it hits all the bolts and whatnot. Yeah, that's it. And then I cited out three probes, not only because they deal me damage, or I lose life, but also because I kind of already have the information for yeah. the most part. Yeah, all you have to see is a couple cards you know what you're facing. Yeah. And then two sleight of hands. Yeah. Um, just, I need more slots to cut. I think I'd rather have the answers themselves than ways to get the answers. Right. All other things being equal. 
Um, I don't always cut sleight of hand if I need something, like uh, if I need to fight a combo and I need to find my spell pierce or something, yeah. I'll keep the sleight of hand in, but if I just need the, the piece itself, yeah. you know. You best know. thing to do is, yeah, best thing to do is to go ahead and protect for it just based off of what you see mm. off the rip because there you go. It's, it's like with red, it's so hit or miss and you saw it like three vexing devils turn after turn, it'll do that sometimes. But uh, it doesn't do it all the time, so you kind of have to, you kind of have to make your deck play on the same level. Like having the answers, but not knowing that you can dig for them. Yeah. It's it's a little bit risky, but it's better. Fair enough. And I think this is actually a deck, one of the few decks in modern that prefers sleight of hand over serum visions. Yeah. Because on the turn you play it, serum visions lets you only see one. Yeah. Sleight of hand lets you see two. Yeah, and you definitely want to do that. With I think, fact. yeah, yeah. When you're digging for the combo pieces to kill them on that turn, sleight of hand is better. Or yeah. if you're digging for the combo pieces to stop them, that's much better. I don't know how many times uh, I've gone and I've had to scry one, and it wasn't what I wanted. But then, yeah. like the draw, it because I, I always look at what I would have drawn after last turn, and the answer is right there, one away <laughs> from where I wanted it. You know? Go figure, man. Yeah, that's how it goes. But anyway, that was a good game. <laughs> I agree 100%. Thank you very much. No problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll see you later.